I'm not sure I'm going to even be able to show you that. Right, as you can see, we're at the hospital. Mum's transporting me in. This is nice. This is pretty cool. They pants or? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that's very uncomfortable. I have the beard of a 12 year old boy. That is so slimy. Right, I'm shaved and I'm washed. I've opted for a spinal anesthesia instead of a general anesthetic, sorry. Which means that I'll be having an injection into my, near my spinal cord. They'll effectively bend me over and inject into my Subbarachnoid, which is kind of like a uh, fluidy sac that they can numb things with. One in every 50,000 spinals have complications. One in 38,000 to one in 62,000 permanent harm. It does mean I don't have to be knocked out though, which means I probably won't feel froggy. Perhaps I can go home tonight. Hopefully. Oh, it's got me feeling like it's done. I'll show you around a little more. They've already put this on me. And this, oh, where is it? This little tin. I don't know what that is. Oh, that must be my gas. This stuff's funny. I don't, think, I don't know if it'll be the same, but I remember seeing one of my mates, Rumi, if you're watching. I think he like broke his leg or something, I can't remember what it was, at a rugby game. He was so high on gas. I'm just waiting until about 20 minutes, I think. So it's time. Yes, Yanis. I'm just gonna say bye now, because when my doctor comes, I can't be like, just, just give me a sec. So, um, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. So that was uh, uneventful. Blood pressure, pulse. I have this in my hand, which is giving me that stuff. I'll give you a little look. That's my uh, iodine foot. I can't move him. Wiggle your big toe. But I can't. Um, these are pumping air up and down because obviously I'm not moving them, so they need to make sure the blood is circulating and that's essentially just an ice pack that's as much as I can do so yeah, should be home tonight can't believe how chilling that was that just seemed, I was awake the whole time as well I went for the spinal um, so yeah, I was just watching him inside my knee with a screen there and it's so bizarre because he was like, oh I'm just going to drill into your knee and then he gets out of drill, I know that seems silly to assume otherwise but it literally looked like a DIY drill and then he gets a hammer out and they give me a little bit of sedatives as well um, so yeah I'm feeling good pretty relaxed actually 62 at the moment yes due to the nil by mouth with hot air ah, with um, operations this is my first food in 
13 hours. hours post-surgery and um, I've weed the bed. I've wet the bed like a little child. <laughs> oh, the problem is, yeah, I can't feel anything waist down. My legs are coming back, but I, you know that feeling when you can stop yourself weeing or you can make yourself wee? Like, I can't, I can't actually do it. Hence why I was just sat in a puddle. All dignity is lost when you are in a hospital, genuinely. As mentioned, uh, uh, all dignity is lost. All I want to do is have a wee. <laughs> and this is how I'm entering the toilet. Thanks, mate. Is that mine? Yes, you hero. <laughs> do any of do you do any of this stuff <laughs> at uni, or is it just a case of doing it when you're just here? Just a case of doing it when you're here. Is it? Thank you very much. Is it likely to bleed? It shouldn't do. Oh, I might do a little. Jesus, bit. that's long. <laughs> Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> right, we're done. One uh, piece of another human now in my body, and uh, en route home. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. She said I'm a good patient because I'm like bending my knee properly and stuff. Mm. Like it's like I'm actually walking. Okay. Thank you.